I was like, let's do it, let's do it. This one ain't it. Well, you know, maybe it's really working this time. <laughs> no, it wasn't. When I woke up and I saw my legs, I just paused. Time for some tea. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's so good. Mm. <sighs> All right. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I didn't know how I wanted to do it. How did I want to share it? Ugh. Hey, I'm Hallie. I make videos on lifestyle improvement, life hacks, DIYs, wellness, and just helping you find balance in the chaos of life. Okay? And today is about this box right here. Kenzie, Kenzie. Uh, I'm going to tell you today why I bought a Kenzie laser hair removal, what my experience was like, and um, if I recommend it and what I'm going to do with my Kenzie now. Okay, so Kenzie, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, my nails ain't done. So if you've been on YouTube at all, you've heard of Kenzie. If you've been on YouTube and you're in beauty interests whatsoever, you've had a Kinsey commercial come up on your, your internets. So Kinsey's a laser hair removal product that you can do at home and it became really popular, especially during quarantine. Um, for me, um, why did I buy a Kinsey? I bought a Kinsey laser hair removal at home. It's just a long title. <laughs> I bought a Kinsey, let's just call it a Kinsey, okay? I bought a Kinsey because I previously got laser hair removal done professionally at Laser Away. Um, I got it on my face and my underarms, and um, I liked it. I was like, yes, I had like 12, 10 appointments, and I was coming towards the end, and I don't know if you know, for it, laser hair changes per person. Some people, they get all their treatments, they've never seen hair again. Other people, the hair has just lessened and they rarely have to remove it anymore. And that's kind of like your girl right here. Like it's there, but it's like, I used to have to shave every day. Not my face, I just didn't want hair on my face. But like my underarms or something like that and now I maybe get rid of it maybe every 10 days is when it might start to like grow just a little. And I'm like, I could literally probably tweeze out the hairs that are left. So once quarantine happened, I was like, oh, what am I gonna do for hair removal now? Like I was on my last treatment, but I could have just paid for a little, you know, pick me up every now and then. And I just did not ever wanna shave my underarms again because it was just better not doing it. So I saw after 20 commercials, Kinsey. And I was like, okay, let me try this. I did my research. I looked up, you know, your skin complexion. And at first I wasn't gonna get it because I saw some reviews saying, you know, according to the color chart of your skin, dark um, skin is not suggested. And so I was like, well, I am brown skin, but like, how dark are we talking? Like, let's get specific, you know? Cause I really want to know. So I kept watching reviews on people who had the same skin complexion as me, the same color, um, and their experience. So after seeing multiple, multiple people with my skin complexion saying it was perfectly fine, I was like, let's do it, let's do it. So I think I paid what? Uh, they have like this $50 deal that's off, that's a deal always. So I think I paid $150 for it or something like that, which I don't know if you know, that's way cheaper than laser hair removal, okay? Uh, professional. So I got the kit, I followed all the rules. I did the whole um, shaving before, I did the whole making sure there's no oils or something, I did it right after the shower, um, I did everything, I wore the glass, I did everything to a T, okay? And it was great, it was great for about three weeks. Um, I did it once every seven to 10 days, um, cause I didn't do it, you know, any sooner cause I didn't want to get no burn. Ain't nobody trying to get no burn. And I didn't use it on my face and my underarms. I used it on my legs and my underarms. And my bikini area actually. Oh, I went all out. Yes, I did my legs, my bikini area and my underarms. Thank the Lord I didn't do my face because that's when things took a turn for the left. In my third week, it was my third week third week that all went bad so um i had been doing everything and i'm and i've always been using the level three i think level i use the level three um because i didn't want to use i think it goes up to five and i was like no we're not going to burn ourselves we're not going to do that so i was using maybe three or four whatever was 
um, in the middle to the end, not the last one. I can't remember if it's three or four. I could honestly just open this box and look right now. And like, for instance, this is the chart. This is the chart. And I just assumed I wasn't the last one, but like I said, I saw a lot of people that looked like me, my skin complexion, and oh, one through five. Aha, it is one through five. And so it says for best results, use five, but I was like, we're not gonna burn ourselves. No, don't do it. So I did it. I did it on level three, level four, and we were gonna be good. So the third week, let's talk about it. That's what you, what, what, why you're watching this video. It was the third week. I did everything as normal, except for when I was done, after I did my legs, my uh, bikini, my underarms, I laid, I, I went to bed, because I do it right before bed, after I showered. And I felt this tingling feeling. And I was like, ooh, it tingles a little this time. Because when I did it, it didn't feel any more painful than usual. Nothing I did in the experience felt different, or I did anything different. But this time when I'm laying down, I feel this little tingle on my legs. I'm like, ooh, little. A little ear and then it turned into like an irritation and then I'm like okay it's itchy my legs became really itchy and I looked at them and they were just all red and I was like well you know maybe it's really working this time <laughs> no it wasn't it was doing something different and it was literally becoming unbearable it was almost this feeling I have when I have some friends who've been pregnant they felt like they were just so itchy and they couldn't handle it that's how it felt so I just put um, Neosporin all over my legs. That's the only thing I had. So I was just like, Neosporin, cool, cool me down. I felt like my legs were hot, 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 hot. And then I went to sleep somehow, but it was, it was pretty painful. Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was pretty painful. When I woke up and I saw my legs, I just paused. All the marks on my legs were black. Blackish brown, dark brown scabs on my legs. And they weren't fully reaching scab. They were like, we're going to be a full scab tomorrow. We just want to give you a preview of your new legs. And I was like, no. I think any other woman would have freaked out. But I think I was in so much shock. I just looked at them. I was like, okay. You signed up for this. You knew that this was a possible outcome. What are you going to do about it? So... If you know me, that's my response. I try my very best to never freak out the moment. My first response is like, okay, this is what it is. Now, what are you going to do about it? So that's what I told myself. I said, okay, we'll do a little nail sporn. But nail sporn is like for beginners. We need to level up and get rid of these scabs. You know, it reminded me of the time that I fell and I had a big scab on the side of my leg. So I just researched aloe vera, all these other things, just trying to figure out how people get rid of scars, right? And while I'm getting rid of scars, it's been one, two days. I've just been using Neosporin. Then I came up on this product um, that I'm going to talk about in another video because this is just about Kinsey. And then I used it for about 30 days every single night. And I'm not at 100% healed, but at least I don't have black marks all over my legs. I will, if I haven't already, <laughs> show you some videos of what my legs look like. I was talking to FaceTime. I was talking on FaceTime with my mom. And I showed her my legs and she freaked out more than I did, which is normal because it looks really bad. It does look really bad. And this happened right at the end of summer, I think. Right at the end of summer. But it was a quarantine summer. So I was like, I'm not I'm not missing anything. Um, and my mom was like, well, what are you going to do? Did I? I was, and I was just coming back. So I was like, you know, I'm not mad at Kinsey. I knew what I signed up for. I knew there was a possibility that I can burn myself. I just was like, why in the third week? Why do we wait till the third week? Um, and so from doing more research after to finding out about people who got burned as well. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't do my face. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh. um, the conclusion I came up with on why I got burned was because um, I was teaching a lot of outdoor classes um, because of quarantine. We couldn't teach our fitness classes indoor. And my bikini, my underarms did not get burned, right? But I was wearing shorts, I think a day or two before and I was outside for a long time. And I feel like when I kept reading that do not expose yourself to uh, the sun before you get it done, whenever you got it professionally done, I feel like the reason why my legs burned were because a day or two before it was exposed to the sun for hours. Um, and possibly the other two times, 
few times I used it before, I wasn't. Maybe I was wearing pants. That's the only thing I literally did different was I had my legs exposed to the sun probably a day or two before for a long period of time. Um, that's the only explanation I could come up with. If you had a better one, comment below. If you were scared or if you have any questions, comment below because I'm like, I don't want this to happen to anybody else, but the fact that it didn't happen all over my body, it was just my legs, not the other areas I did, is the reason why I'm not going to 100% say don't use this product because, you know, it was, a, it was a minor mistake mishap. Um, how do I feel about it now? Would I recommend Kinsey? I don't know. I think I wouldn't recommend it if somebody was like, what should I do for hair removal? I have another video on this glorious device I will use for the rest of my life. And I absolutely have loved and adored ever since I bought it. I would recommend that product. Um, and you can watch another video that I posted about it. But if you are using Kinsey, I wouldn't say stop. It's been working for you. I would just add that recommendation, like don't expose whatever area you're doing to the sun before you get it done. And um, that's about it. That would be my only thing. I unfortunately didn't have the best experience. What am I gonna do with my Kinsey? I don't know, I had it for three weeks. I possibly will re-gift it and give it to a friend who, it, who maybe has lighter skin complexion, will know not to expose himself to the sun, I don't know. Um, or might keep it because it didn't burn my underarms or bikini area. So I'm not sure. But as of right now, I'm probably not going to use it again. I'm probably going to re-gift it to anybody who wants it. Comment below. Look, that might be my first giveaway. I don't need it anymore. Um, if you have any questions about what I use to heal my scars, I will make that in the next video because I just want to make this one short and sweet and to the point if you wanted to know about Kinsey. But if you want to know what I use to get rid of my scars on my legs that are about, I would say 90%, which is amazing. Like literally, they were my entire legs were covered with scars and 90% of them are gone. Um, if you want to know what product I use, that was all natural. Um, nothing chemically, you know, damaging to your skin. Um, I'll put that in the next video. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. And that's it. That is my review on Kinsey. I literally wanted to be like an ambassador. I was like, I want to love Kinsey. I was so excited about it. But maybe they'll have another product another time that I can promote. But this one ain't it. Um... That's it. Until the next video, um, remember to like and subscribe if you want more videos of just DIY in your home, DIY in your life, because this is us doing it ourselves, right? Um, just let me know. If you want to know what I use to get rid of these scars, comment below and click the bell, because that's my next video of a product that had your girls back all natural. Until the next video, peace, love, balance, and DIY. Like and subscribe. That we could do this all the time.